Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. This is the first one of 2018. Uh, I know it's 11 days in, I haven't uploaded anything really uh, worthwhile. Uh, reason for that is just because I've been very busy. I've got a lot of deadlines, uh, three actually. Uh, already done one of them, but the uh, next one is actually quite a big one. But I did want to just record something so that, you know, I'm still uh, active and everything. Uh, I also hit 1.5k subscribers, which is great. Uh, I mean, I only hit 1k, so I think it was like mid last year. Um, so it's good that kind of the subscriber count is gaining quite uh, quite a lot faster than it used to anyway. But yeah, uh, anyway, make sure to keep sharing with your friends anyway because it's it's great to have a big audience. Uh, I love getting all the feedback and stuff. It's it's wonderful. Today we're doing the X Wing. Uh, a lot of people uh, people have asked for this one uh, because I did one. I think it was mid last year as well. Um, that was not nowhere near as good as this one. Uh, this one is in the two to one scale. Uh, but this one is just, it's been perfected over about the course of, I'd say about two months. I've just spent uh, doing this over and over again and uh, tweaking the build to make it perfect. And I think I've come up with something that's pretty much there uh, when it comes to perfectness. So yeah, uh, this one is perfectly two to one scale, at least in the length dimension. Uh, most of the time when I do these builds, um, not all of the measurements are provided. Normally it's mostly just the length, and I do work from that. So for certain builds, the uh, the width and height aren't actually specified. But for this one, uh, I think the width may have been, uh, or the height, but I, I don't know. I, I know the length definitely was. So yeah, this is like a 25 blocks long, uh, which is uh, basically double what the uh, actual measurement is. Anyway, so quick turnaround of the vehicle, uh, or aircraft, whatever. It's got uh, nice engines compared to the last one. Uh, these ones are really, uh, really good. It looks great from the back. We also have a uh, Force Awakens uh, version of the X-Wing, which is over here. Pretty much the same build, uh, apart from the wings. The body is similar, uh, but not exactly the same. As you can see from the back, you know, you've got that very uh, kind of top-heavy uh, body there, whereas on the uh, other one, as you can see over here, it's kind of... Uh, like flat all the way through so yeah but that one will come at a later date uh, I am planning on doing the uh, kind of new trilogy vehicles as sort of one uh, kind of little series sort of thing get them all out of the way uh, you can see the big box over there for the uh, ATM 6 that one is coming I know quite a few people have asked for that and it is coming it's just gonna be a big uh, big tutorial a big build and it'll take a while to make anyway guys uh, without further ado let's get on to the tutorial on to layer one. Okay, so I thought I'd do something pretty interesting for once. I'm actually doing a different world for the uh, th for the build. So this is actually sort of a space environment. I know it's uh, it's kind of daytime at the minute. That's just so that the build is a bit easier. But when we get to the end of the build, I will switch it to nighttime so you can see the X wings flying in formation. We do have the uh, pre-built one here. Uh, in fact, I think this is actually a little bit of an older version of the uh, one that we're building today. It's uh, the the canopy is a bit shorter, I think. A few little of the details are a bit different. Uh, I think the engines aren't exactly the same. But yeah, that one's just uh, just so you got something in the background for uh, for a bit of a reference throughout the video. So uh, yeah, this one's in flight, uh, obviously, since we're in space. However, the landing gear will be done in this video, I think. Uh, or maybe not, actually. Let's see. We'll, we'll see when we get to it. We're going to start with layer one anyway. What we need for this one is iron trapdoor, wooden trapdoor, skeleton skull, chiseled stone bricks, quartz stairs, stone slab, cobblestone wall, dark oak fence gate, end rod, and you'll also need stone brick stairs as well. Uh, a lot of materials for the first layer. I know, it's crazy. Anyway, you're going to start off by doing a stone slab top half, just like so. Oops. We'll start there. Uh, and then do two... Uh, iron trap doors. So this stone slab here is going to be the back of the build, so we're building that way. I'm going to take a temporary block, so I'm just going to use the chiseled stone bricks for now. Then you're basically going to do five between the uh, stone slabs. And then do another one there. So you should have a uh, five gap in the middle. Then you're going to do two more iron trap doors like so. Once you've done that, you're going to take a temporary block, and what you're going to do is take purple wall, and you're going to place the iron trap doors now. And you're going to basically put a uh, purple wall in the center. This is your temporary block. Uh, so yeah. And then what you want to do is put 22 blocks on either side. Uh, sorry, not 22. Uh, 11 blocks on either side of it. Uh, so one, 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And same thing again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Once you've done that, you're going to put a chiseled stone bricks here and also here, then a skeleton skull on the back of that chiseled stone brick, like so. Now you can delete the uh, temporary locks if you want to. I'm going to do that because it distracts me. Throw away the purple wall and the skeleton skull. Now, if you want to reorganize your inventory here, you can. Uh, I'm going to put chiseled stone bricks at the front, quartz stairs, and now we can get out those uh, stone brick slabs that we needed. Sorry, stone brick stairs. Like so. Uh, it's for these, just, yeah, it's fine. So, once you got this, you're then going to take uh, your quartz stairs and you do one, two, and three upside down, facing outwards towards the side, and then on the inside of them, you're going to do three trap doors and flip them down. So we're using uh, wooden ones instead of iron for ones because we do need to flip those down and we don't have uh, levers or anywhere to put the levers really uh, without uh, sacrificing some of the build. You're going to put a, a chisel stone brick on the front like so on both sides and then in front of that a cobblestone wall. Now you can throw away basically everything. What you want to keep here is a dark oak fence gate and end rod and stone brick stairs. So these three. And you're going to put them in this order, so Stonebrook Stairs, Dark Oak Fence Gate, and end rod. Now you want to take your temporary block again, and you're just going to do uh, one there, and do a Fence Gate. And then what you're going to do is take end rods, and we're actually going to do uh, two, four, six, seven of those. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then do a Stonebrook Stairs on the front. You do need that to be uh, the bottom half like that. Take a Iron Trap Door. Oop. Ah. Uh, bye. <laughs> Take the iron trap door, you're going to put that on top. That is jumping up a layer slightly, uh, but it is just, it, it, it's easy. You can do it now. It's fine. Anyway, once you've done that, same thing again on the other side. Uh, so, temporary block there, one there, and then one, oops, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That goes there, that goes there, and then an end rod on the front. So, that is a detail we didn't have on the last one, the uh, kind of I, I don't even know what it is. I'm not going to bother trying to explain it, but it's just sort of like a little uh, hook thing on the end of the uh, laser cannons for the X-Wing. So yeah, and um, once you've done that, basically that's going to be uh, it for layer one. So moving on to layer two, throw away these materials. Let's go, layer two. Okay, so for layer two, we're going to need quartz slabs, stone slabs, stone brick slab, iron trap door, uh, stone brick stairs, stone, polished on the site, chill stone bricks, sign, and you'll also need a uh, item frame and uh, I think it's a magenta uh, stained glass for inside it. So, yeah, what we're going to build in this layer is basically the uh, majority of the bottom engines and also the start of the bottom wings and basically some of the uh, framework for the body as well. So we're going to start off right at the back here, do a chill stone brick just there and there, and you can throw that away now. And you're going to put the sign where the chill stone brick was, and you're just going to uh, get the item frame for now. Oops, that's the uh, glass. Can we grab the item frame? I guess not. Have to go into the inventory for that. We're going to sort out the engines now, then we don't have to uh, keep the materials in our inventory when we don't need them. Put an item frame on the back of both of those uh, uh, chiseled stone bricks, and then grab the magenta glass. And you're going to need to do this again later in the build, but uh, just do it for now. You're just going to do that basically and just turn it once so that it goes at a corner angle like that. Okay, now once you've done that, you're going to take polished andesite and you're going to do three of those like so and a stone behind it and a stone behind it like that. Okay, so now you can throw away the polished andesite and the stone for this layer. Uh, also, oh, one last thing the signs. You're going to do uh, one, two, three, four, and five signs like so on the side of the stone all the way to the chill stone bricks and you're going to do that again on the inside like so same thing again on the other engine this just adds a bit more roundness to the uh, to the engine so like so uh, I put this build on the planet minecraft page and it got featured on the uh, on the like uh, popular reel which was pretty cool uh, so yeah that's just a little bit of a tidbit of information for you there once you've done that, you're going to take your uh, stone brick stairs, you're going to do one, two, three, four, just like so, and that's going to be facing outwards towards the wings, and the same thing again. Uh, same thing here, one, two, three, and four, one, two, three, and four, like so, so you should get that. Taking your stone brick slabs, do two here, 
and two here, like so. So just like that. And then finally for this layer, you're just going to take your iron trap doors. Oh no, sorry, not finally, I don't know why I said finally. You're just going to take your uh, iron trap doors. It's, it's finally for the uh, body here in the center, but not for the wings. We have to do the wings. So do two iron trap doors there, and then two around like that. So two here, and then two like that. Once you've done that, so this is where uh, it kind of gets asymmetrical. The X-Wing is not a fully symmetrical thing. There are color differences, and I wanted to convey that in the game. Uh, one thing here, if you've done this right so far, you should have these uh, stairs actually line up with these trapdoors. What you're going to do is go to those trapdoors, and you're going to leave a gap of two uh, past them. So that's two there, and then that one goes there. And just do three top half court slabs like so. So this is where the uh, asymmetricalness comes in. So what you're going to do here is just do one there, then do a stone slab, a stone slab there as well, and a quartz slab there. It will be, sorry there, it will be quite tricky to do, so uh, definitely watch what I'm doing uh, as best you can. Once you've got this, you're going to just do two more quartz slabs like so. Now, you want to have a stone brick slab's bottom half, just there, like there, but obviously that's a top one, so you're gonna have to kind of go around and down like that. Just make sure that ends up there like that. In front of that, you're gonna do two quartz slabs, and then you're gonna basically just take your stone slabs and do one, two, and three, then taking your quartz slabs, one, two, and three. So that's on the uh, right wing. Now on the uh, left hand side, which is technically the right since we've been building from this angle, but uh, it's the left from the front. You're going to do basically the same thing, but with different uh, different materials. So you're going to start off by coming to this middle one here, and you're going to go out by two, and then on the third one it's going to be a stone, and then one, two, and three, and then here just do one, two, and three. So you should get this. Now do uh, two stone slabs like so, and then you've got to do the uh, bottom half stone brick slab here. That's an easy way to do it. There you go. And then just in front of that stone brick slab, you're going to do two stone ones, and the rest is just going to be quartz, like so. Uh, actually, wait a sec. I think that one, yeah, that doesn't go there. That's uh, left off. There we go. So what you should end up with is this. And once you've done that, that's it for layer two. So on to layer three. Okay, so for layer three, the main materials you're actually going to need are just pretty much the same as last ones, really. Uh, Quartz slab, stone slab, stone brick slab, iron trap door, stone brick stairs, stone block of quartz, and you will need cobblestone wall as well. Uh, you may need some others, and we'll get to those, uh, you know, like when we get to them. So I'll just get them out when we need them. You're going to start off on the engines, finish these off. You're going to do a stone slab, and then two iron trap doors behind it. Same thing again, just like so. Easy peasy. Then two stone behind it, two stone behind it, so you should get this. Now what you're going to do here is that all the stone on this layer basically, and then we can throw that material away. So you've done two here, you're just going to do one, two, and three outwards like so. One, two, and three. And then just do a two by two in front of that. Like so, so you should get this. Okay, and once you've done that, the uh, next place you use stone is, you're going to come to the middle like so, uh, in between those first stone. And you're just going to do uh, one, two, three, four, five in a row, like so. And once you've done that, uh, you're going to take quartz slab now. I know this is a weird place to start the slabs and stuff, but you're just going to do a quartz slab here and here, here and here, and then a stone slab in the middle, and then three top half iron trap doors. I'm just doing that because that is the very front of the uh, build for this layer, so I want to get that kind of... Uh, set in stone now. Once you've done that, you're going to take, uh, let's see, stone brick slabs. What you're going to do is do a temporary one there, and then one there, and then one, two, and three, like so. So you should have four in total, and then three, like so, uh, sorry, four, like so. So you should get that, basically. Same thing again, just here. One, two, three, and four. Face into the middle, and then one, two, three, and four, like so. So you should get this. Once you've done that, take a stone slab, you're going to put that there and there. Then a stone brick stairs, just like so. Should get this. Okay, so uh, yeah, once you've done that, the next thing you're going to do is take your stone uh, brick uh, stairs again and do one there and one there, then a quartz next to it. Uh, oh, 
<laughs> and again, one next to it, and then a slab behind it. So you should get this. Uh, actually, on the left hand one, use a stone slab instead of a quartz slab. So quartz slab on the right hand side, uh, stone slab on the left hand side, and that's left hand side from the back, not from the front this time. Then do a uh, stone slab top half there, and then we're going to do the wings now, basically. And then two bottom half quartz slabs like so. One, oops, like that. One there, then a stone slab there. And what you're going to do here is kind of like a uh, dip in the wings. And what you're going to do is just a trap door, trap door, and trap door like so. You should get that shape. Finally, do a uh, stone slab there and two quartz slabs in front like that. A final thing, you're just going to take a uh, block of quartz. You're going to do two here. And then on the... Uh, actually, let's just finish this spot off first. You're going to do a... Uh, stone brick stairs, do one there like that, and one there like that, and that should round off the bottom engine which is great. So you got that, now on the uh, inside one you can do three stairs like so, and then three cobblestone walls like that. Let me just set the time to zero, there we go. Whew. So that's it uh, for the left hand wing, so moving on to the right hand one, you're going to basically do the same thing with the engine, you're going to do four here, but on the opposite side, and then one there, and then three cobblestone walls. So you should get uh, that. Then here you're going to do a quartz block. Now instead of doing another quartz block like we did on this side, we're actually going to do a double slab like that. And then two quartz slabs in front of it. So you should get this. Now stone slab here. And then three trap doors, same as last time. Then stone slab there. Quartz slab behind, or sorry, next to it. And then two there, like so. Then a top half stone slab here, and I think that's everything for this layer. So yeah, moving on to layer 4. Yeah, making good progress. Okay, so for layer 4 you will need quite a few materials again. Same as last time really, except you also need sandstone slab and grey concrete. You will need cobblestone walls as well, but I don't have them, I don't have room for them really. Uh, you're going to start off with your quartz slab and stone slab. You're going to come to here, you're going to do a stone slab, and then a quartz slab like so. Uh, just on top of that engine, like so. Leave a gap of two, and then do two quartz, one there, and then a stone slab, like so. Uh, I think, oh no, wait, sorry. Uh, move that across by one. So one, two, one there, and one there. So you should get a uh, gap of three in the middle. Uh, just there, like so. <clears throat> uh, moving on from that, you're then going to take your stone. You're going to put one stone here. And then a block of quartz behind it. Uh, I think I think that's block of quartz. Looks like a block of quartz to me. It might be uh, something. Yeah. Okay, it's block of quartz. It's quite hard to see with the angle I've chosen for the model that I'm referencing from. So grey concrete here. You're going to do one, two, and three, and then one there. We'll get this out of the way now. All the uh, grey concrete. So three, and then one, and then two, two, and then one here and three here like so. So you should get that weird pattern thing. Now throw away that grey concrete, you don't need that until the next layer I don't think. You're going to take your stone, you're going to do one, two, three, and then one there at the front. Now taking your stone, uh, stone brick stairs, you're going to do uh, just one there and then corner it. One there and then corner it, like so. And then taking your stone brick slabs, you're going to do one, two, and three, and four bottom half slabs. Take your uh, cobblestone wall, you're going to put that just there, there, there and there, and you can throw that away now. Next thing, uh, you're going to take your uh, stone again, just put that there for now. Then on the back here, you're going to do a stair facing inwards, stair facing inwards, and then what you're going to do here is a top half slab. I think that's just top half, I don't, uh, I don't think that's full block. Yeah, just top half. So top half, stone slab there, and then you're going to take your uh, block of quartz and you're going to put that there okay and then you're going to do a quartz slab and stone slab so basically what we're doing here is uh, sort of mirroring the other side it's pretty much the same on this layer there's uh i don't think there's any texture differences really uh, i think the only thing is instead of doing a quartz and a stone you're going to do instead a quartz and a quartz like that Final thing, just do the uh, four stone brick slabs to finish that off. And I think that's it for the uh, body for this layer. 
But now we have to build the nose, which is uh, going to be fun. So what you're going to do is take uh, quartz stairs. Uh, put that there. I am taking my time a bit more with this tutorial. I've noticed, uh, well, not recently, but some people have said that my tutorials are a bit too fast. So I am trying to take my time a bit more. It does take a longer time to upload those, so you have to think about that. Uh, so you're going to do a uh, quartz stairs on either side of that stone. And then on the front of it, you're going to do a block of quartz. And then another stair, like so. Uh, so you should get this. Now, on this bottom left one, you're going to replace that with a stone brick. Bit of a texture difference there, just uh, makes it a bit more realistic. Now you're going to do three more blocks of quartz in front, and what you're going to do here is basically two quartz slabs, like that, top half, and then an iron trap door, like so. Uh, this one is way better shaped than the last one. Uh, the old one was quite static in its shape, it wasn't very fluid and curvy. So what you're going to do from here is just five top half slabs like that. Okay. Final thing, three iron trap doors. Three iron trap doors. So you should get the uh, four in total. No, sorry, three in total. Delete those two. You should get that. Three in total, like so. You can see the nose is uh, making good shape now. Now what we have to do here is the uh, kind of tip of the X-Wing. What you want to do is take a tempered block. I'm going to use stone. You're just going to put that there. Then a quartz stairs there like so, and a upside down stair like that. Then do a top half slab in front, and a sandstone slab like so, and a iron trap door to finish that off. So you should get this. Final thing, you're going to do a uh, quartz slab just here and here. Then an iron trap door in front of it by one, and then also one behind it by one. And once you've done that, that's going to be it for that layer. So uh, moving on to uh, layer, what are we on now, 5 I think, so yeah, on to layer 5. Okay, so for this one we're actually going to be starting off the uh, upper wings and the rest of the body, uh, well not all of it, but obviously uh, make good progress, there is a lot of red in this layer because the X-Wing is sort of red themed, depending on which team or which squadron you want to base this on. Uh, one thing here, one cool thing is you can change out the uh, nether brick, which is going to be the red colouring, and you can make any team colour you want. So, I'm actually going to do that for this one. Um, you want to use nether brick if you want the actual colour. Uh, or also you can use red stained clay or red concrete if you want it a bit more vibrant. Typically I stick with nether brick because it kind of is a sort of muted and sort of old looking red. And that's kind of what I like uh, compared to a newer one. Plus it works better with the slabs. However, uh, you may want to change that. But I'm also going to change to a different colour X-Wing. So I'm going to make this one a... Let's see, a lime coloured one, that might be interesting. Uh, well, it may not look that good, but we'll give it a shot. I've not tried this before, so I guess we'll uh, we'll see what, what happens. Anyway, we're going to start off, let's look at materials. So you're going to need block of quartz, stone, stone brick stairs, quartz, uh, stairs, slab, stone slab, stone brick slab, sandstone slab, and your colour of choice. You will also need uh, cobblestone walls and chiseled stone bricks and... Uh, maybe something else, I'm not sure yet. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to start off right at the back here. Uh, you're going to do uh, one and two. Uh, quartz, you can also use white concrete, I failed to mention that. You can use white concrete for the full blocks of quartz if you want even more texture. Uh, it's just some people don't like using uh, concrete. Uh, for the showcase thing, uh, I may do a video showcase, and if I do, I will be featuring this one, and I will switch out the, con uh, the quartz for white concrete. So it will look a bit different from the actual one in this tutorial, but like I've said, uh, you can switch out that material if you want to. Wow, that was a lot of talking. Anyway, uh, so once you've done those two, you're going to do four top half slabs, four top half slabs again, and then a block of quartz, full block, like so, and a quartz stairs in front, both sides, and then a corner stair, around like that. Once you've done that, you're going to throw away uh, your block of quartz and get cobblestone wall. You're going to do four of those in front of that uh, stair, like so. And that doesn't connect to anything yet, but it will do. It's just kind of preparation. So uh, let's get onto the body, then we can get that out of the way. Uh, you're going to take uh, chiseled stone bricks, and I'm going to replace the uh, stone bricks there for now. Put that there, and then throw that away. <laughs> you didn't need that for very long. 
uh, you're going to take your grey concrete, do the same pattern as you did last time, uh, just go over the top of everything we did, fill in the cobblestone wall gaps with cobblestone wall, and then now here do stone, and you're going to get out your uh, stone brick stairs again, replace the grey concrete, and do a stair there, and also one there, and then stone, you're going to do one, two, three, and four, like so, uh, I believe, yeah, I think that's just four. Then, let's see, now we can use our colour of choice, so lime concrete, uh, or nether bricks, or whatever, anything. Choose whatever you want. You're basically going to go to this gap, you can do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, I think that's 8, isn't it? Yeah, 8. And then 8 again on the other side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And then in the middle here, you're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and then throw that away. Two stone in front and a sandstone slab like so. You can definitely see the shape of the uh, X-Wing now, which is great. So once you've done that uh, sandstone uh, thing there, you're going to do a stone slab here and here. Then a stone brick stairs next to it like so. Then do a quartz stairs, quartz stairs, and then turn that one at a corner to make that. And in this gap here, you're going to put three cobblestone walls. So you should get this. So you can see the uh, nose of the X-Wing is definitely uh, sort of filled out now. You know what, this reminds me of another ship. Well, I can't put my finger on what it's called. I think it was an old Republic one. Uh, it just has a similar sort of shape. Strange. Hmm. Anyway, that aside, let's carry on. Two stone slabs here. Uh, so this is on the first stone brick slab. And then one here, and a quartz slab. Now I know this one's going to be a long tutorial, I know it's been quite a while so far. This one could have been a lot shorter, but I am taking my time and I am using a lot of materials, so uh, I think it will be a good one though. A good tutorial. It's going to be uh, hopefully going to be popular. Make sure you uh, you you know show your friends this because I'm sure they will like it. And this one took me ages to design, so yeah, if you just enjoy it, just let me know. So here you're going to do two and then one and then a stone slab and same again on this side. It's not different. One, two, and one there, like so. And once you've done that, that's going to be everything, I think, for that one. Uh, so yeah, on to layer, what are we on now anyway? I forgot. One, two, three, four, five. I think on to layer six. Let's get on to layer six. Yeah, let's do this. All right, so for this one, uh, you will need quite a few materials, like a lot. So I've just got some of the, uh, the main ones, really. Uh, you will need black stained glass and stuff, but... Uh, you know, I don't really have room for it in the inventory. I wish you could like expand your inventory, that would be good. I'm sure there's a mod for it somewhere, but it's uh, I don't really do mods apart from shaders and optifine and stuff. Uh, I don't really use any gameplay changing ones. Anyway, let's start this off. So you're going to start right in the middle, put a uh, polished on the side on top of that uh, chiseled stone brick. And then you're going to do f uh, stairs facing towards it, like so. And then taking your grey concrete, do three, and you're going to do uh, four sets of one. So four like so, throw away the grey concrete, and you're going to take a full block of quartz now, uh, you're going to put that there, then a stone in front of it. Do two polished andesite on the side like so. So we are getting onto the top of the body now, which means that sort of a lot of details are emerging, uh, so we will be getting more like a detail based blocks. Uh, so stuff like rails and pressure pads and stuff will be appearing in I think the next or maybe the one after. Uh, layer. So yeah. So we haven't got the uh, glass yet, but we're going to leave a gap of two and put one there and one there with the uh, stone brick stairs facing inwards and then two quartz slabs like so and then a trap door in front of that and trap door in front of that. So yeah, just checking that's right. Uh, then you're going to uh, take sandstone slabs. So I'm going to replace the cobblestone wall for now and you're going to put that just there. One, two and three. Stone slab in front, two trap doors, stone slab, uh, oh sorry, quartz there, and then a stone slab there, then a trap door there. And that's the nose fully finished, so yeah, that's pretty cool, looks good. <laughs> From that, throw away the, uh, let's see, throw away the sandstone slab, and you're going to get out uh, black stained glass, and you're going to put that one, two, one, two, and then also two there, like so. Throw that away now. So you got your uh, cockpit pretty much uh, sorted out there. That's good. 
Now uh, what you're going to do is a stone slab here and here and then you're going to take stone brick stairs, do one and then you're going to take quartz stairs, you're going to do uh, two of those then another stone brick, then a quartz, then a stone slab same thing again, one, one there, uh, one there, two and one so you should get this and that's pretty much the body uh, done for this layer uh, last thing we need to do is the uh, wings, or the start of the wings really. Um, one thing you do have to bear in mind is that uh, because I've chosen a different colour uh, instead of red, there are bits on the wings that are red still, and obviously they use nether brick, and there is no like green slab as you can see. None of them are green. So what I'm going to do for the sake of this tutorial is replace them with uh, Sandstone, I guess. That's the closest thing, really. It's a shame there's no uh, green slabs or anything. So, uh, where I put sandstone slabs now uh, on the wings, anywhere the sandstone slabs on the wings is going to be uh, red. Basically, nether brick slabs for you if you're building the red X wing, as you can see. So, yeah. Uh, but we'll get to that in a minute. We are going to do the left hand one first, uh, or at least the uh, first layer of the left hand one, and that doesn't actually include any uh, slabs yet, or any of the uh, coloured slabs anyway. So yeah, Whew, I'm talking a lot in this video. <laughs> Starting off you can do one, two, and three stone like so, and then one, two, uh, one, two, and one, two. Same thing again on this one, so two, uh, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, like so. You're going to do a quartz stairs there, like that, and then a slab on the back half, a slab, then a stair, just like so. Okay, and then a uh, quartz slab on the back here, there, uh, and then let's see what's next. You're going to take your cobblestone walls, and we're going to basically do the uh, bottom half of the engines here. So you're going to do uh, three cobblestone walls, and then three stone brick stairs. And then just one there and one facing that way. Same thing on this one. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. And one there. Like that. Okay, now on this side, you're going to do a quartz stairs and then a stone slab. And basically, what we've got now is uh, most of the left wing done for this layer, a bit of the right wing done. Oh, give me a second, I just need to think about where we're going from here. Okay, next thing you do is a stone brick stairs like that. Then taking your uh, trap door, you need that again. You're going to do one and two, like so, and then a stone slab behind it, like that. So you should get this. And that's going to be uh, the back engine, pretty much, or the top back engine. Oh god, <laughs> I'm out of breath. Alright, carrying on. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely losing my voice here. Carrying on from that, onto the uh, right hand side, the left hand side is done for this layer now, uh, apart from the top half, but I'll do that for both sides at the same time. Uh, next thing here, I'm going to take uh, stone brick stairs like that, and then sto uh, quartz stairs, and then a stone slab, and then on this side, we've done that already, that's good, so we just got to do the uh, engine, so one, two, and then a stone slab, like so. Okay, uh, I think that's pretty much everything. The last little thing you got to do is just a stone slab behind that uh, quartz stair, like that. Okay, uh, it is a lot more difficult with the colour differences. Uh, it's something that I didn't actually realise would be uh, such a problem with this build, is the uh, kind of colour differences from left to right. It is quite distracting. Uh, one final thing we just have to change here before we get on to the uh, end of the wings is this stair is going to be replaced with a sandstone stair. Now that isn't based on a colour difference or anything, that is purely sandstone no matter if you do it in the red colour scheme or the green one or the blue or whatever you choose. That's always going to be sandstone stairs. It's just the slabs that are going to be different. Uh, but speaking of, yeah, let's move on to the slabs. So you're going to start off here uh, and you're going to basically do two quartz slabs first of all, on the uh, far left stone, and then three iron trapdoors like that, and it should mirror the ones from uh, the bottom layers, so like that. And then once you've done that, do a stone slab, and then two more quartz slabs next to it, 
Now finally do a stone slab here and this is where we're going to do our first coloured slab. So obviously you'd choose nether brick if you're doing the red one. I'm going to choose sandstone because I'm doing the green one. It's the only thing I can actually do. There is no green slab like I mentioned before. So yeah, just like that. Make sure you uh, keep that in mind. Don't do red slabs when the uh, front of the ship is green. I don't think red and green look very good together unless you're doing a Christmas thing. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, here, after this I'm going to take a break because uh, you won't know this but I am going to take a break because my voice is uh, going. So do two sets of quartz slabs like so and then one, oops, one, two, three iron trapdoors. And then this is just going to be filled in with stone slabs like that. And that's going to be it for that layer. So moving on to layer 7, I think. Yeah, on to layer 7. Alright, so this is where the uh, kind of detail bits come on onto the body. This is actually going to be like the last layer of the body, pretty much. Uh, I think, actually, yeah, it might be the last layer for the body, uh, completely. We're going to start off on the, uh, on the front here. What you're going to do is just put a quartz slab there, then an iron trap door on all three sides of it, except from the back one. Uh, like so. Now you're going to take a shulker box. Now this is the color of your astromech. Again, something that you can customize. Uh, I, I really want to kind of push that with the new series of builds is that you can edit them and make them your own color and design and stuff. So normally I'd go with a white one, a white shulker box with a blue carpet on top uh, to represent R2D2. But like I said, you can choose pretty much anything you want. So I'm going to go with a uh, lime one to match the color scheme of the actual vehicle. And you're going to put that just there. And for the uh, colour on top, so the, this is the secondary colour of the uh, Astromech, I'm going to use, let's see, I think I'm going to use a white carpet for this one. Uh, or maybe grey, actually, light grey. Light grey might look good. Uh, so, yeah, I like so. Okay, so that's the uh, Astromech. And to just add a little bit extra, uh, this only works on some builds because some do block off this uh, section, but you can put a... Uh, item frame for the kind of uh, eye of the astromech on there, like so. And once you've done that, you're going to put uh, two trapdoors next to that, like so. And then quartz slabs, you're going to do one, two, three, one, two, three behind it. And then a stone one behind those. Then a quartz one behind that. And then an iron trapdoor behind that quartz. Then just do another quartz on the back to finish that off. Now this is where the detail comes in, so you're going to throw away the uh, Let's see the stone now, and get rail, you're going to put a rail on the back and the front. Take a skeleton head, you're going to put that uh, just there, facing towards the back, uh, straight on like so. And then you're going to put a, uh, let's see, uh, pressure plate behind that, so stone works. And then finally, you're just going to put a uh, iron trap door behind that pressure plate, like so. So the body is now finished, and that looks pretty good actually, uh, quite like that. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's the body finish, so moving on to the wings. What you're going to do here is just uh, start with the engines. So we're going to do the same thing as last time, so chisel stone bricks. Now there is too many materials to cope with here. Uh, I'm going to throw away a block of quartz now, uh, so you need polished andesite, block of quartz. Oh, sorry, <laughs> no you don't. Polished on the side, uh, chisel stone bricks, stone brick stairs, and just basically a load of other things. I'm going to start with these though. So you're going to put the chisel stone bricks there, throw those away now, you don't need them. Get the item frames out, uh, put those on each of those, throw those away, you don't need them. And then get your uh, uh, magenta stained glass, put those there and there, flip them, flip them, and throw those away, you don't need them now. Okay, so uh, next up, let's see what we've got. So you're going to take your polished iron site, you're going to do three, uh, and three, and then a stone behind it, like so. And then you're going to do four uh, stone brick stairs on the left hand side. On the right hand side you're going to do two, leave a gap of one, and then do one there. Take uh, stone, uh, sorry, sandstone stairs, and you're going to do two here, like so. Uh, and then you can throw those away now. Okay, so to uh, finish off these engines, you're going to then do uh, one, two, three, and four. One, two, and three, like that. Take signs. This is the last time you'll need signs as well. Uh, you're going to do just one, two, three, four, and five. Again, on the inside, one, two, three, four, and five. 
one, two, three, four, and five. And again, one, two, three, four, and five. And throw the signs away, you don't need those now. And you look from the back, you can see you've got the engines pretty much done now, which is great. So uh, to actually uh, finish off the wings now, what we're going to do is take trapdoors. You're going to go to here and you're going to do one. Uh, oh, sorry, wait, before you do trapdoors, two stone brick slabs there and there. Taking trapdoors, you're going to do uh, one, two, and three, and four, like so. One, two, three, and four, like so. Just like that. And that's the body and the wings pretty much done. Last thing we need to do is the uh, wing tips. So you're going to move to uh, here, go up by one like so, do a quartz and then a stone, then up by one again and you're going to do a stone and then a quartz, so you should get this. Now on the bottom half you need your uh, coloured slab again, whatever it is, so sandstone works. You're going to do two here and then two stone next to it, and then a set of four quartz like that. On the top layer you're just going to do two, two, one there, and then a stone there. So, uh, yeah. On the other side, you're going to do a similar thing. What we're going to do here is start at the front. You're going to do a sandstone slab, uh, basically a 2x2 two two, like so. Or whatever colour slab you want it to be, like I said before, many times. And then two stone behind it. And then one, two, and three quartz. Coloured slab there. Now here, do a top half stone slab like so just in by one like that and then the rest is going to be quartz like so and that's going to be it for that layer so uh yeah we can move on to the uh last layer which is great so yeah let's get on to that okay so for the last layer we're actually just going to be building basically the uh, bottom layer but in reverse so this includes the guns uh, the guns and everything and the uh engine detail you can start for the engines to finish the body off Going to do a stone slab and then just two iron trap doors, and that's literally it. Uh, there are a few more details under here that you uh, actually know. Actually, no, there isn't. It is an exact mirror. That's uh, pretty cool. So, yeah, uh, you just finish those engines off, and that's the body finished. Now, for the uh, top guns, what you're going to do is just do th uh, three quartz stairs like so. Three quartz stairs like so. In fact, I'm going to do one gun at a time. Works better that way. So uh, three quartz stairs there. Now throw away the iron trap door for now. You're going to get the wooden one out. You're going to do one, two, three, one, two, three. I'm actually going to do it on this side as well just so I can get rid of these uh, wooden trap doors once and for all. Get your uh, iron trap doors back out. So you've got this basically so far. You're going to do a chiseled stem brick on either side of it. Like so. Okay, throw that away now. Take your uh, skeleton skull. You're going to put that there and there. You can throw that away now. Uh, from there, you're going to take your cobblestone wall, one there, one there, get rid of that. Temporary block out, uh, and one underneath for each of those. And then the fence gate goes on top, delete the temporary block. Like so, throw the fence gate away. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then what you're going to do here for this one is, as you can see, the uh, stone brick stairs on the bottom, the uh, trap door is on the top. As you can expect, since it's mirrored, you're going to do the exact opposite. So you get that. This just, it, it's probably my favorite build of all time. So same thing again, seven, uh, like, wait, what did I do there? Six, I think, yeah, so seven. Top half, that there. And the final thing, just going to be a last end rod on the end of that. Clear inventory, and there we go. That's going to be your X Wing. So, yeah, let's uh, switch to nighttime. Wow, that's pretty cool. We've got a uh, trio of X Wings here. That's uh, freaking awesome. Huh. Nice. Anyway, guys, <laughs> I, uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I uh, hope you enjoyed the new X Wing. And make sure if you do it, you uh, give me credit in the world if you use it online or anything. Uh, make sure, like I've said like twice already in this video, if you like the video and you do the tutorial and you like it, try and share it with your friends so that they can, you know, see my tutorials as well, because I'm sure they'll like them as well. And it just makes us a bigger family, really. But yeah, guys, uh, I'm really pushing this sort of customizing theme within this new uh, wave of vehicles where you can sort of change the colors around. It's just pretty cool. 
But yeah, guys. Anyway, with that, I'll see you later. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.